Welcome back to the cloth and paper YouTube channel in today's video We're gonna give you guys a couple of different examples of how you can organize your cloth and paper products So I have a few different styles of organizers and you can find items similar to these at a lot of different stores like Walmart Target Amazon or any office supply store if you're looking to aesthetically organize your stationery for your home office or at work, one of the types of organizers that might be really helpful for you are letter organizers. So both of these are different styles of letter or mail organizers. These are meant for organizing your incoming mail, but these also make great organizers for notepads, sticky notes, and inserts. If you go to any office supply store, you can find organizers for specific products like this sticky note organizer, which is perfect for storing sticky notes or journaling cards. But you can also get a little bit more creative and look in the home department for organizers. This organizer right here is actually meant for silverware, and this one right here is actually meant for storing toiletries, but both of these make great organization options for your office space. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to store some of my cloth and paper accessories here at my home office and show you guys a couple of different ways for storing things like sticky notes, page flags, notepads, and pens.
a few examples of how you can organize your cloth and paper stationery, but you can also get really creative and use glassware or other home decor pieces to help you organize your home office. We love seeing how you guys organize your cloth and paper stationery, so definitely tag us on Instagram and use the hashtag cloth and paper trail so we can see how you guys organize your cloth and paper collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other tips that you'd like to share, leave those down below in the comment section, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!